Hi everyone. Let's take a look at the recent 2024 and beyond trailer from Eagle Dynamics. What footage do they showed of the Chinook helicopter and the newsletter published on the 5th of January 2024. As you know, the Chinook has been in DCS for many years as an AI model and there's a modified version with limited capabilities. What's exciting is that in 2024, we'll see a full fidelity version. So let's take a look at the newsletter article along with the video and break it down. So in the article, DCS CH47F or Foxtrot. Originally, I understood this was to be an older version of the Chinook. Maybe a D model, perhaps an Italian version is something that I read. Uh, it, and it's great that it's been updated to an F model. The F model production aircraft, that actually flew, or first flew, should I say, in 2006. This is a standard model for many nations nowadays who operate the Chinook around the world. Going further into the newsletter then, we can see that much of the 2023 CH-47F work focuses on the creation of the external model, cockpit and cargo models, as well as systems and flight model. The model now accurately reflects a US Army CH-47 from the mid 2000s. Well, I mean, that's going to fit, isn't it? If the, the first one, first production one is kind of rolling off the production line in Philadelphia in 2006. Yeah, kind of makes sense. So looking at the video, we can indeed see this is great version of the F model Chinook. Although it's the views are limited in the trailer to external shots, barring a brief glimpse of the forward, forward cabin area and you can just see into the cockpit. In these clips, we can clearly see that they've added the antenna and defensive aids for a US Army version. You can see that in the paintwork and the markings as well. It then goes on to say, much of the work now involves the finalization of the flight dynamics and flight control system, along with the many multifunction display pages and sub pages. So with this being an F model Chinook, it's going to have a version of the Rockwell Collins uh, Common Avionics architecture system. So the CAS cockpit, essentially the MFDs that you can see there um, in, in the trailer and the digital advanced flight control system, otherwise known as DAFIX. This is a version which replaced the older, um, what operators tend to refer to as its steam driven uh, automatic flight control system. The newsletter carries on then. As with all DCS aircraft since the KA-50, the CH-47 will have a fully modeled electrical, hydraulic fuel and other systems that exist within the simulation as live systems to manage voltage, pressure, flow rates, temperatures, and other operational systems. It's great that we've got all of those, but they are relatively simple compared with other aircraft. So let's carry on. The newsletter goes on to say, to support advancements in the DCS logistical system, the CH-47F will be equipped with cargo and sling management capabilities, as well as defensive gun positions. So the defensive armaments they can be numerous on this aircraft. For actual weapons, what we're talking about, to be honest, is the M134 miniguns, which can be fitted on the left and right hand sides, the, the forward cabin doors and the escape hatch at the forward, forward um, left hand side. For the American versions, we've got the M240 machine guns. If it's an RF version, and I imagine people will do different versions for this, they they still use the M60 uh, as the uh, defensive weapon on the ramp. Lifting wise, and let's face it, this is what most people see the Chinook doing better than anything. We have the three hooks, the forward hook and the aft hooks and the larger center hook. The three hooks are visible underneath in the clips that we see. It's in these in particular that 
making uh, flying a Chinook in particular that extra bit special, especially when compared to other models that we've got in DCS already, for example, the HIP and the Huey, which only, certainly in the case of the Huey, you're only really talking about one hook and very limited lifting capabilities. The Chinook, for example, can easily lift the Huey, the Huey using its center hook alone. I'm interested to see how the introduction of the Chinook will expand the game. I know it's not for everyone who, you know, they may like the fast jet elements, but for me, who has several fixed wing modules already, including the Huey, this is going to be great. I'm imagining multiplayer games that not only rely on how many targets get knocked down, but also troop insertions, um, supplier forward bases, uh, the, the Chinook can also be set up, for example, as a forward refueling point. So not just cargo, it, we can actually fill it with extra fuel and that fuel can be used to refuel Apaches. So for example, you could have a, a flight that goes out with a player in a Chinook and fellow players in Apaches and they can come back to the Chinook to refuel and rearm. As well as the aircraft, the Chinook can also refuel vehicles. So for example, the Abrams tanks could come up and refuel as well. So what do you think about the introduction of a full fidelity Chinook and the impact it's gonna have on, on DCS? There's more and more of these kind of logistical type aircraft that are coming into the game. So for example, with the Hercules coming in uh, recently as well. What do you think that kind of impact is, is going to have? Are we going to eventually get to that situation whereby I know there's some big Armour 3 fans out there where they can see this full wide ranging kind of battle going on, especially in multiplayer. Sounds pretty amazing, to be honest. As always, great work by Eagle Dynamics and all the teams creating these amazing aircraft for us to fly and all the associated modules and campaigns and things like that. Really looking forward to this one. Thanks for watching.